as training camp starts for the Las Vegas Raiders, it's a lot of positions out there that we do know that is going to have a very decent battle going into the 2022 NFL training camp for the Las Vegas Raiders. In this video, we're going to be talking about three position battles that we definitely need to look at going into this training camp. Now, play that intro. To last with the whips, I'm waving, not to change the press with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop competing. If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them. If you take off the gas, you can see all the healing. If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave and put your foot. What is going on Raider Nation? What is going on? It is your boy Darian coming to you live with another video. It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk. Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. If this is your first time ever being at the YouTube page, we highly suggest that you subscribe, hit the bell button, and get the latest news and all Raiders news. But we're back here with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the training camp. Training camp is starting today. It's starting a few with the rookies coming in, some of the vets coming in. But you know we got that Hall of Fame game August 4th. But we do have to look at some position battles that's coming up in this year's training camp. But, you know, we have the Las Vegas Raiders getting ready to do another playoff race as, you know, when it comes to this season. And you got to think about it. The postseason, we end up getting Devontae Adams and pass rusher Chandler Jones going into it. But, however, the AFC West has gotten better, too, with Russell Wilson going to get, going trade to the Broncos. Then you have Khalil Mack coming back into the division with the Chargers and adding Chasey, J.C. Jackson to that mix. And, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs are the reigning defending AFC West champions, so you know they're going to be the conference best. But we definitely got to get a playoff-worthy record, and we got to get better um, this season to make sure that we are at the best that we are. So here goes the three position battles that I think, and Bleacher Report thinks, that we need to look at going into training camp. In the first position battle that we definitely have to look at going into the 2022 NFL training camp for the Las Vegas Raiders is the linebacker position. The additions of Jones and Jackson should quickly boost the Las Vegas Raiders 13th ranked pass defense, but improving its ranked 19th run defense is more a work in progress. New defensive coordinator Patrick Graham has traditionally run an aggressive scheme with plenty of the 3-4 alignment, which requires a lot of versatility and depth at the second level. The Raiders didn't draft a linebacker, but they did find three at free agency with Kyler Fackrell, Kenny Young, and Jayon Brown. And they are likely to compete with the likes of Devon Diablo, Micah Kaiser, and Malcolm Coots at the inside linebacker and rotational players on the outside. Max Crosby and Jones are going to do their fair share as pass rushing from the outside linebacker spot. Denzel Perriman has one starting spot locked up, even though the Raiders may look to rotate someone on the passing downs. Pro Bowler is a force against the run, but allowed opposing passes of 114.1 in coverage last season. There's at least one starting spot up for grass and has several rotational roles that need to be filled at linebacker. To run Graham's defensive effectively, the Raiders would need to establish their depth as sub-package plans well as ahead in week one. If they do, a defense that ranked 26 in points allowed last season stands a chance of improving dramatically. In the second position battle that we definitely have to look at going into the 2022 Raiders NFL training camp is the wide receiver position. While the Raiders didn't fill most of the consistent defense in 2021, their offense played pretty potent. The Las Vegas Raiders ranked 18th in scoring and 11th in yards. With Devontae Adams now on the roster, the Raiders fans should expect to see a top 10 offense in 2022. Him and the slot specialist Hunter Renfro form a tremendous receiving duo and Waller is among the best tight ends in the league. Anthony Trush, a pro football focus, recently ranked Adams as the top receiver in the NFL and Renfro in the top 30. However, the Raiders do have an opening at some other perimeter wide receiver spots after dealing Brian Edwards to the Atlanta Falcons. Las Vegas Raiders didn't draft a receiver, but did add Keelan Cole, Mac Hollins, and Demarcus Robinson in free agency. Robinson will appear to be the front runner for the job after starting 29 games for the rival Kansas City Chiefs over the past three seasons. However, Keelan Cole has been actually more productive over the past two years in terms of yardage of 1,091 versus 730. 
There should be a healthy competition in camp as the Raiders look to find their best option going with a third wide receiver. It's an important task because Devontae Adams will draw enough attention to leave the Las Vegas Raiders and other receivers with frequent one-on-one -on -one opportunities. In the third position battle going into the Las Vegas Raiders 2022 NFL training camp, and it's one of the most important ones in my opinion, is the offensive line. This is a big one as the Raiders have plenty of sorting to do along the offensive line. There should be a competition at center, right guard, right tackle in the upcoming months. Alex Leatherwood moved from tackle to guard as a rookie and struggled badly. He was responsible for 14 penalties and 8 sacks allowed according to Pro Football Focus. The 2021st first round pick will be in the mix at guard again this season, but so will Denzel Good, Brandon Parker, and the rookie third round pick Dylan Parham. It also looked like that Parham may have a chance to unseat Andre James at center. Parham is listed as a guard on the roster, but he's still been a cross training at center. It's too early to make a sweeping evaluations, but he is impressed with the Raiders' best offensive lineman, according to the athletic Tashawn Reed Road. Saying that, he's doing a great job as a rookie for sure. The left tackle, Colton Miller, said that Parham, per Reed, finding the right starting lineup is one of the most important challenges for the Las Vegas Raiders this offseason. Carr was sacked 40 times in 2021 and under pressure on 21.4% of his dropbacks. The Raiders just ranked 27 in yards rush as a team. If the Las Vegas Raiders hopes to truly have an elite offense in 2022, it needs to improve the play in the trenches. Now, I have to agree with all three position battles here, especially the offensive line. Now, they did say that Dylan Parham might be playing some center and be in the competition with Andre James. I completely disagree with that. I definitely think that you could put him at the left guard or the right guard or the left tackle or the right tackle. He can play both sides of the ball when it comes to that position. But putting him at center, I think Andre James, that is his position to be solidified. But he does need improvement as well. Now, when it comes to the wide receiver position, I know everybody at the Hunter Renfro, Waller, and Devontae Adams, is going to be competition there. I think me personally, Keenan Cole might win this position battle i'm not too sure the demarcus robinson has mad talent and so does mac hollins so there's a lot of people and they forgot Ty, um, tyron johnson that's on this wide receiver depth chart as well going into training camp so it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen at the wide receiver position and of course the linebacker position is getting revamped for another year for the las vegas Raiders. i think that is the number one position that we need to look at and um, I do have an honorable mention as well, but linebackers with Jayon Brown, Denzel Perriman, Kyle Fackrell. We got a whole new different style of linebackers coming into this Patrick Graham's defense. So we have to see who's going to make it and who's not going to make it. It's going to be very interesting. But my honorable mention, I have to say, is the defensive tackle position. Like my guy Ray the Tape said earlier in his live stream, the defensive tackle position has been one of the most inconsistent in a long time. And I feel like now, you know, even though we got Bilal Nichols coming off an injury, even though we drafted my, uh, Matthew Butler from Tennessee and uh, uh, Neil Farrell from LSU, and we do got Jonathan Hankins coming off an injury, and we still have some other ones in rotation, I still think it's not enough. That's going to be the biggest position there. Who's going to be the starters going into the 2022 NFL season when it comes to the defensive tackle position? That's just my personal opinion. I think that's the biggest outside of linebacker um, and offensive line is then is the, the defensive tackle this is the uh defensive tackle position instead of the uh wide receiver position but raider nation how do you feel what are your three position battles that's going to be going into training camp make sure you put it in the comments below and let me know what you think y'all let me know what you think comment like and subscribe to the channel it's the spotlight raiders talk see you in the next live stream or in the next video peace to last with the webs on we did not to change the past with all